Hello, welcome to Bagway TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Unswati III. Unswati III is the king of Eswatini, the head of Swazi royal family in Swaziland. He was made Unswati III at the young age of 18 on April 25th, 1986, and at that time, he became the youngest king in the world and the youngest head of state until President of Democratic Republic of Congo, Joseph Kabila, took office on 26th of January 2001. Nswati III, king of Swaziland, with his mother, Ntomi Tifwala, ruled the country. He was born on 19th of April 1968 to King Subhusa II through his youngest wife, Ntomi Tifwala. He was the only child of his mother but one of the sons of his father. It was four months after his birth that Swaziland gained independence from the United Kingdom. He started his formal education at Masundwini Primary School and later on, he went to Lusita Palace School. As a child, Mtsanti III had a smart head, receiving first class in mathematics after sitting for Swaziland Primary Certificate Examination. At a tender age, he became a member of Umbunfu Swaziland Defense Force. He had developed interest in the rear guard. This explains why he became a cadet at a young age. After his father's death on August 21, 1982, the Great Council of State agreed for the 14-year-old prince to be king, but school stood in the way. For that reason, his mother and one of his senior wives, Queen Dizilewe Shongwe, stood in the gap while he continued schooling in the United Kingdom. The latter was regent from 1982 to 1983, and the former, his mother, from 1983 until 1986, when he returned back to become king. Facts about Unswati III. The king can only marry his brides after they have proven that they are fertile by getting pregnant for him. He banned pictures of his luxury cars after facing series of criticism from Amnesty International. In spite of affluence as king and sovereign ruler of Swaziland, Mswati III had his proposal turned down by Tim Swalo Ngumbeni, who now lives in England and is the number one critic of the monarch. He picks his wives from the Anwar Mblanga dance that brings young girls from all over the country. Each of the virgins tries to please the king and the lucky one is chosen. It is safe to say that Mswati III is the last absolute monarch in Africa. He rules by decree and he has power of hiring and firing. He chooses his prime minister too. However, in as much as he has those powers, he still seeks advice from the queen mother and the council before choosing a prime minister. Since accession to the throne, Mswati III has been more democratic than his father. He restored Swaziland parliament dissolved by his father as he believes in division of powers to an extent. He brought a new constitution that gave the media and people freedom of speech, although Amnesty International criticized the constitution for inadequacies in some areas. In order to curb the spread of AIDS, he made a law invoking a time, honor chastity right, that encouraged Swazis from the ages of 18 years, from 19th of September 2001 and 19th of August 2005, to abstain from sex for five years. The last time such rights was done was under the leadership of his father. A few months after the ban, the king himself violated it when a 17-year-old royal fiancé was chosen to become his 13th wife. He was punished by being made to pay a fine of a cow by the parliament. The king has visited Taiwan 17 times because of his allegiance and love for China. He changed the name of his country to Eswatini and later explained that the change of the name was to erase traces of colonialism and return the country to its original ancient name. That was to mark their 50th independence anniversary. Mtsanti has 15 wives, 23 children and still counting because traditionally the king gets wives from the national councillors. Well, one would not blame him for he was born into a polygamous family too, with his father having 125 wives. He is a good dancer and does not allow his royalty come in between his love for dance. Whenever Sim Haka, the traditional Swazi dance, is involved, the king doesn't mind losing his home training. Mtwati is known for living an elaborate life and has been accused of living off people's sweats. He has a net worth of about 200 million US dollars. What do you like about King Mtwati the Third? Let us know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.